Hello and welcome to this explainer video for the area one for, of the first year of the baccalaureate curriculum, exogenic processes. As you know, our planet is in constant change. That means that the landscapes and landmarks that you notice around you will change through time. These changes are due to two main forces or two main processes, either external, we call it exogenic, or internal, and then it will be endogenic. This means that the source of the change, the origin of the change, can be either due to climatic uh, processes or external change, atmosphere, gravity, or due to internal processes, internal force coming from the deep layers of the earth, like earthquakes or volcanoes or plate tectonics. This year curriculum will focus mainly on exogenic processes, meaning the external forces that affect rocks and landmarks. In another word, we are studying a geomorphic process. Geo means earth, morphic, shape. So the process that makes the shape of landscapes. Our main concern this year will be the exogenic process, the process that derives their strength from the atmosphere or from external condition, non-related to earth's inner layer. This process are known on the English syllabus as three phenomena, while we focus on Moroccan syllabus on the four-step process. And the first step is weathering. Weathering is the act of breaking down pre-existing rocks and landmass due to atmospheric condition, rain, uh, wind, or even gravity. These rocks will be broken down by weathering and therefore will be called elements, sedimentary elements. The second process will be called erosion, not the same meaning as the French curriculum. For the English curriculum, erosion is the act of transporting those already broken down elements through water or wind or gravity. While they are transported, they get even more broken down. While rocks are transported, they are decreasing in size. So the more they got exposed to erosion, the more they get smaller. So the size here could be an indicator of duration of erosion. There are several erosion factors. It could be water, it could be wind, it could be simply gravity once again. Once those elements are too small or uh, the erosion factor weakens, they settle down in an environment specific to the third process called deposition. So deposition, when the transported element settles down in a depositional environment, several of the same elements get deposited in the same environment. So they could gather and be compacted to make the third, fourth step lithification. So the deposited loose grains of sediments are converted into a rock. So we have a new rock through these four step processes. And this rock is known as a sedimentary rock, one of the three main types of rocks that exist in our planet. So we have weathering, erosion, deposition, and litification. They are known as exogenic processes in or sedimentary cycle for the Moroccan syllabus. And they shape our landmass through millions of years. Ergo, we could discover past landscapes, past environment, 
by studying thoroughly every step and studying the process, the inner process of each step. We could get the whereabouts of past environments and landscape. And this is what we will do in this area. So we go back in time through two main phases. The first phase is the lesson one, is to make an ancient map of an ancient environment called paleogeographic map. And then we will compare this map with the actual current map. This pertains to discover geological events that shape our land. So we have two chapters to realize a paleogeographic map of a region and the chapter two to discover or to reconstruct the historic, the geological history of a region. And this is what Area 1 about. I hope this simple explanation will be useful for, uh, for you. And uh, see you next time in the next video.